as of today, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has been released and is available for the Nintendo Switch. Being a special edition of Mario Kart 8, I think it's only normal that we take a look at this fantastic game that was originally released on the Wii U. Welcome to the Mario Kart Retrospective. During a Nintendo Direct video posted in January of 2013, a brand new Mario Kart game was confirmed to be in the works, but we would have to wait until the summer of the same year at E3 to finally see the game for the first time. Mario Kart 8 was released in May of the following year for the Nintendo Wii U, and it's one heck of a game, trust me. The game was co-developed by Nintendo and Bandai Namco Games, and introduced a brand new mechanic that was never seen before. Mario Kart 8 is the first game in the franchise to introduce anti-gravity racing. At many points on many tracks you will go through an anti-gravity line, and doing so turns your tires on the side and you can now race on walls and even on ceilings. While being in anti-grav mode, bumping into other players gives you a little boost, which changes the way you usually think of your opponents in a traditional Mario Kart game. Mario Kart 8 features a total of 36 characters, which is a lot of characters, but you know, some fan favorites have been replaced and some people were not really happy with the end selection. In this game, you can play as Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yashi, Toad, Koopa Troopa, Shy Guy, Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Baby Peach, Baby Daisy, Bowser, Donkey Kong, Wario, Waluigi. Rosalina, Metal Mario, Lakitu, Toadette, Baby Rosalina, Iggy, Roy, Lemmy, Larry, Wendy, Ludwig and Morton Koopa. You can also play as your me and the best character ever created and seen for the first time in a game ever. A pink or gold peach, baby! Besides those characters, the game features downloadable content that give you additional characters, being Tanuki Mario, Cat Peach, Link from the Legend of Zelda franchise, and Villager and also Isabelle from Animal Crossing, and finally Dry Bowser. I also need to point out that if you buy those DLC, you'll get access to 8 new colors of Yoshi and 8 new colors of Shy Guy to pick from. Now that's a lot of characters, like, seriously, how many more can we add, like, whoa. Just like the previous game in the series, Mario Kart 7, you can choose and customize your kart. The game includes 22 carts, 11 bikes, 4 ATVs, 21 tires and 14 gliders, which creates a grand total of 10,878 vehicle combination. There are even Mercedes bands in this game included in the free DLC pack. I have no idea what Nintendo had in mind with that collab. I mean, I play Mario Kart, but I can't afford a Mercedes bands. But you know, whatever, more vehicles is always welcome in a game. In terms of track selection, the game includes 16 new tracks and 16 classic ones, and also includes 16 DLC tracks available in two different DLC packs, bringing the total to 48 tracks. Whoa, 48 tracks in a single Mario Kart game. I mean, dude, usually Mario Kart games have 16 tracks, this one has 48. Alright, so, you know, let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> the Mushroom Cup includes Mario Kart Stadium, Water Park, Sweet Sweet Canyon and Swamp Runes. The Flower Cup includes Mario Circuit, Toad Harbor, Twisted Mansion and Shy Guy Falls. The Star Cup is home of Sunshine Airport, Dolphin Shoals, Electrodrome and Mount Wario. Special Cup is home of Cloud Atop Cruise, Bone Dry Dunes, Bowser's Castle, 
And you guessed it, Rainbow Road. For the retro courses, we start off with the Shell Cup with Moo Moo Meadows, Mario Circuit, Cheap Cheap Beach, and Toad's Turnpike. Banana Cup brings you to Dry Dry Desert, Donut Plains 3, Royal Raceway, and DK Jungle. The Leaf Cup is all about Wario Stadium, Sherbet Len, Music Park, and Yoshi's Valley. The Lightning Cup will bring you back to Tic Tac Clock, Piranha Plant Slide, Grumbo Volcano, and N64 Rainbow Road. We're not done yet since there are four new cups included in the two DLC packs. The Egg Cup starts with Yoshi Circuit, Excite Bike Arena, Dragon Driftway, and Mute City. The Triforce Cup starts with Wario's Gold Mine, SNES Rainbow Road, Ice Ice Outpost, and Hyrule Circuit. Crossing Cup is home of Baby Park, Cheeseland, Wildwoods, and Animal Crossing. Last but not least, the Bell Cup will bring you to Neo Bowser City, Ribbon Road, Super Bell Subway, and Big Blue. Woo! That was intense. So many tracks to cover here, but I think we did a pretty good job. Four new items are introduced in Mario Kart 8, being the Boomerang Flower, which turns into a boomerang that you can throw three times at your opponents. The Piranha Plant appears in front of your cart and eats coins and other players that dare be in front of you, while giving you a slight speed boost. The Super Horn emits a huge shockwave that attacks enemies around you, and it destroys pretty much anything, even the infamous Blue Shell. Now that's insane! Finally, the Lucky 7 from Mario Kart 7 has been replaced by the Crazy 8, which is pretty much the same thing, except you also get a coin now. Yay! Returning items include green, red and blue shells, bananas and triple bananas, mushroom, triple and golden mushrooms, fire flowers, stars, bloopers, babums, lightning bolts and bullet bill. The game modes include the Grand Prix, Time Trials, VS Race, Battle, Online Mode and a brand new mode called Mario Kart TV. Mario Kart TV is a place where you will see and share race and battle highlights with other players online. You can edit your content and use slow motion to see everything that happens during a race. It is also thanks to that beautiful feature that the Luigi Death Stare meme was born. You can also share your creation online via Miiverse and now even share it on YouTube. Battle mode is back for this game, but it's very different from the previous game in the series. It doesn't feature any proper battle courses. This time, 8 of the original tracks from the game have been chosen and remixed slightly to fit to be in a battle mode. You can only play the balloon battle in teams or in free-for-all. And yeah, that's it. To be honest, the battle mode is very disappointing and I don't even remember playing it that much because of how lame it was. As you'll see in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe episode of this retrospective, they really fixed that battle mode. Mario Kart 8 also supports amiibo figurines. By scanning them, you can get costumes for your Mii to use anywhere. Yep, even online, so you know, that's pretty cool. Mario Kart 8 received very good reviews from critics and gamers and won two awards at the Game Awards 2014, being the best family game and the best sports racing game. Mario Kart 8 has sold 8 million copies worldwide as of September 30, which is pretty good considering the few people that actually own a Wii U. Alright guys, next time we will take a look at the remix version of Mario Kart 8 that comes out this week for the Nintendo Switch, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Stay tuned to be sure not to miss anything, you might even want to subscribe if you want, but I know, you, you don't have to, so it's your choice. But, but it really helps though, so... Alright, see ya guys!